Kids, happy Sunday, Merry Christmas. It's only 22 days before Christmas and we would like to let you know what Christmas is all about. But first, I want to show you two things that I would like you to remember. Are you ready? All right. So there are two things I want you to show you. This is what you call the dog. This is a symbol of Christmas. And then we also have what you call the staff, okay? The shepherd staff. This is also another symbol of Christmas. So for Christmas, we would like to always remember what it's all about. And before we remember, I would like to tell you how the birth of Jesus came about. Um, okay, do you guys know that his mother, Mary, was actually pledged to be married to Joseph? And Joseph is... Uh, Joseph, when he was, ano, he was trying to, he was getting ready for the marriage, he found out that Mary was found to be with child. Okay, so even before they were uh, getting married, uh, Mary conceived a child. And he did not know uh, so much about how did it happen, but... When Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant, he wanted to uh, divorce uh, with Mary quietly. But did you know that um, the baby that Mary bore was a baby from the uh, through was conceived through the Holy Spirit? It was from God. And if you know the story of. Uh, how Mary got pregnant, it was when the Holy Spirit told her that she was going to be with child, even though she is not yet married, it is a child from the Holy Spirit. So, um, so Mary was pregnant and Joseph was worried what to do. But uh, during the night time, when Joseph was thinking about what to do, he had a dream. And in his dream, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. So it was a dream 
where the Lord spoke to Joseph eh, through an angel. And when Joseph woke up, he did not hesitate to obey what the Lord told him. He did what was right in God's eyes, which is obey God, and he took Mary home as his wife. So he was commanded by God to name the baby Jesus, correct? So why is it Jesus? Because the name Jesus means he will save his people from their sins, okay? So that is why Jesus was born, to save you and me from our sins, okay? So these things happen to fulfill the Lord's prophecy in the Old Testament. What was the prophecy all about? It says that the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. So another name for Jesus is Emmanuel. His name is also Emmanuel, which means God with us. So when Joseph woke up, he did all what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. He gave him the name Jesus when he was born. But before he was born, it was time that he had to go to um, he had to go to Bethlehem because the ruler requested that everyone registered their name. So Bethlehem is actually the town where uh, the family line of Joseph, King David, David was uh, one of their forefathers, uh, was born. And it is where also King David, before he became king, was a shepherd. So in uh we can see that Joseph uh obeyed the law of the land but he also obeyed God. We can see here when Joseph was registering their marriage um it was time for Jesus to be born. So he registered Mary and uh and his marriage and then while they were there it was time that Jesus was to be born. But before Jesus was born, they had to look for a place where Mary could give birth. So Mary could not find any proper room for Jesus. So what happened? What do you think happened? Okay, so like I said, what happened was the Emperor Augustus wanted more tax money, so he made sure that the people registered their names into their old hometown. So kahit na hindi na nakatira sila Joseph sa Bethlehem, they had to go back to register their names with Mary. And um, after their marriage, it was already time for Jesus to be born. So Joseph and Mary looked for an inn where they could uh, allow Jesus to be born and they didn't find any room or space for Jesus. So they found only a place in where the animals are uh, staying and that's where Mary gave birth to Jesus. So when Mary gave birth to Jesus and Jesus was born, he, they wrapped him in Cloths and ayan, yung, yung cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for him in the inn. So, what can we learn from this story? Sino ba or ano ang sinabi ng angel kay Joseph? Okay? Sabi niya, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife. Okay? Pangalawa, but why do you think Jesus was the name of the baby? Do you remember? Because it means he will save his people from their sins. That's correct. Where was Jesus born? In the town of Bethlehem. Yes, Jesus was born there. Do you know that even King David was also born there? And like I told you, 
What is the work of King David before? He was a shepherd. Correct. So a shepherd takes care of the sheep. And did you know that uh, the reason why Jesus was born in Bethlehem is so that the prophecies or the uh, the prophecies of the prophets that were sent by God was to be fulfilled. And also to show us the importance of Jesus as our good shepherd. Okay, so first symbol that I would like you to remember is the symbol of the dove. What do you think is the dove symbolizing? Okay. The dove is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. The dove is also the symbol of peace. Do you know that Jesus came and he is our Prince of Peace? He is here to bring peace in our hearts and in our minds. So this is a symbol of Christmas. That uh, Christmas reminds us why Jesus came to earth. is to bring us peace because he will save us from our sins. So he's the one who will give us peace. He's the Prince of Peace, sabi ng Isaiah, di ba? That in this dark world, God sent Jesus to bring uh, light and peace. So that is the symbol of Christmas. The second symbol of Christmas is the staff. Yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, very good. So the staff symbolizes Jesus as our good shepherd. Sabi ni Jesus sa John chapter 15, uh, chapter 17 verse 15, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. So Jesus came to earth to shepherd his People. Okay, bakit natin kailangan ng shepherd? Because we need someone to guide us, di ba? We need someone to help us find the right way in life. The shepherd is the one who will uh, protect us from harm. The one who will help us when we are we don't know the way to go. So di ba yung mga sheep, pag naliligaw sila, di nila alam yung dadaanan nila. Yung shepherd, gamit niya yung pastol or gamit niya yung uh, staff niya, inuturo niya sila sa tamang daan para hindi sila mahulog sa bangin. The same way with Jesus, He was born to give us guidance. Because He is the good shepherd, He knows us very well. He knows you and me very well. And because He knows you and me, He will take good care of us. Okay, so um, I hope that from this story, we can learn that what Christmas is all about. There are two things that we, we would like you to remember, that Jesus was born to bring us peace and also to give us the Holy Spirit to be our comforter. At the same time, he also came so that he can shepherd us away from Sin, away from destruction, away from trouble, and uh, so that He can be our guide during the times that we are also finding it difficult how to live our lives. So, Merry Christmas! I hope that we can see why Jesus was born and the miracle of Jesus' birth through the life of Joseph and Mary. So kids, don't forget, Jesus is our good shepherd. Bye! Hi kids! It's Memory Verse time. Ako si Kuya Owen, at ang Memory Verse natin today is Luke chapter 1, verse 35. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so that the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Recite this memory verse to your teacher. 
And for the little ones, you can recite Luke chapter 1, verse 35b. So that the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. So let us proceed to arts and crafts with Kuya Asher.
kids for joining us. See you again next Sunday. Bye! Bye. Bye.